You guys, inside this box, we have a brand new motion platform that we've never used before that we're gonna test out. We're gonna put it together, check it out, and see if it's the best motion platform that's currently on the market for the ultra realistic field. Now, this came all the way from v Viochi. How do you say that? Vichoki, Vichoki, Poland, all the way in from there. So let's see, it's a company that you guys are gonna find out here in just a second, which most of you are already aware of, but let's see if they can actually build a platform that is better than anything that we have ever offered up to this point. So stay tuned, let's have some fun. Quick interruption to tell you guys that if you have any questions about any machines or racing simulators in general, you can text me, 702-246-2295. Let me know the questions you have and I will help you guys out. Whether you guys want information about our equipment or just simulators in general. All right, back to the video. All right guys, let's go ahead and see what this looks like inside. They glued these sides together. I think I saw the... There it is. Look at that. Wow. That thing looks pretty damn cool. So this is the Cubic QS V20 machine. This thing's really cool. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see what it feels like. We have a couple plans for this machine. And uh, we have a lot planned that we're gonna do with Cubic here in the future. But this is totally new, different style. This is completely different than anything that we have actually done or used here in the past. So it's going to be pretty interesting to uh, compare this compared to some of the other motion platforms like this one here that we have done in the past. Now, of course, this one's nice because we could build um, you know, extrusion right off of it, whereas the Cubic doesn't quite have the luxuries of us using uh, extrusion just to build right off because it's not an extrusion chassis. But the way this thing feels and their software and um, the way that it operates and it looks, it looks like it is uh, a really cool machine. And so we're gonna put this thing together, we're gonna see what it's about and give it a shot and see exactly how we like it. Let's open it up. All right, so we are taking the cubic machine off of the crate and we're gonna actually set this thing down right here in the center of the shop. You can see a little, it's a little offset right now, it's just because it has only one piece underneath the crate. They only put one uh, like two by four underneath the bottom uh, portion of it to keep the um, the crate up but so we are going to end up pulling this off of the crate we're going to slide it right here into the middle section of the shop and then um, we're going to continue to put it together from there it's going to sit right here because it's going to be probably a little bit too tall with the monitor mounts if we put a fourth monitor for it to sit underneath our base so we're going to just set it um, in this section here it's heavy it's very heavy Holy crap, this thing is not light. All right, time to get the arm mount made, seat bolted down, semi cube put on, pedals on it, and let's give this thing a shot. Let's see if the stop was on. Oh. It's alive. It's moving. Bro. It's moving. Oh, snap. We're good. This thing is rolling, homie. Next project is on the way, bro. Let's go, come on. All right, so Sean's done a great job. We have the three screens on it. The Cubic is of course placed right here. Right now it just has the Simi Cube, the GSI, the pedals on it. We're gonna put the hydraulic pedals. Um, Sparco Evo XL on Cubic's uh, seat sliders. Can we get their own seat sliders? It has a shifter mount and a handbrake mount. We will use this later. And it's pretty cool because um, even the steering wheel has this pretty sweet way that you can adjust it. You can pull it away, you can push it. Um, close to you and it has a little bit of adjustment also for, for tilt here on the steering wheel, so that's sweet. These actuators are four inches, so we're excited to try them out. Sean 
uh, is just turning things on to make sure everything moves and operates properly uh, and test screens. From there, he's going to then just do a very light uh, wire tuck, you know, for the wires that are going to be staying with the monitor mount versus the chassis. He'll get those things torn up uh, and make sure that it all looks beautiful. And then from there, it looks like we just have to figure out why that one monitor isn't turning on and then the software that we're missing. Uh, a little bit of a completely new system to us, but it's gonna be great because uh, the Cubic has a ton of hype around it right now. So we'll see exactly what this one's all about. Cubic is known as the best um, kind of simulator or motion platform that is on the market at the moment. So we'll be the judges, we'll test it out and we'll let you guys know what we think. This machine is pretty cool. Um, I will say it feels a lot different than the machine that we have out there in the front, but there's pros and cons to each one of them. I would say that the pros to this cubic machine without a doubt is the traction loss in the back end. Um, when this system actually moves right or left, when you actually feel the, the car kick out, you really can in your butt feel the back side of this uh, move around. It's pretty sick and cool. Um, the four inches of travel, so you could feel some of the different, uh, the changes when we're doing off-road trucks right now, really just to try to feel when you launch. Um, getting that sensation, it's pretty cool. I like how smooth it is also, and it really doesn't make much noise at all. It's, it's actually very quiet. I would say um, one of the downsides to it is it is big, it weighs a lot, it's a little under 700 pounds for the, for, uh, you know, the platform. Um, it can't fit through a typical doorway, so it does have to get taken apart and then reassembled wherever it's getting put together. But if you have, let's say, like a garage or a, um, you know, a spot that has a lot of space that can fit, this could be a really cool machine to have around. Um, and it just fits the style. It's absolutely beautiful. So we package these starting at 55,000, right about there in that range. Um, and then we ship it, we'll freight it over there to your house. We can put it in casinos, car dealerships, your business, your house. We really could put it in your house if you want to, but we'd have to take it apart. So um, there's other ones that might fit better for that. But my goodness, does it feel cool. I like this thing a lot. Well, if you guys are in the area, if you're in Vegas, I expect to see some of you guys. You need to stop by our building and you need to try our simulators out. So if you're like, man, I'm gonna be in Vegas in the next month, two months, three months, what are you doing? Make sure you stop by our building, hit us up, Text me if you want to come by, 702-246-2295, and I expect to see you guys soon. With that, I'm going to close out. Have a good day. Peace out, guys.